Hello and good morning. Welcome to the video today. The card I pulled is Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, and this is from the Light Seers deck. So anybody starting with tarot that wants really positive messages and stuff and really good and really cool um, descriptions, this card deck, the um, Light Seers card deck. I love, 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 so good. All right, let's read what it has to say in the little affirmation to morning, this morning is, I speak my existence into being with wisdom and clarity. I speak my existence into being with wisdom and clarity. And again, it's kind of like when a, <laughs> we need to tell God, source, universe what we want in a way. We need to think about it, right? We need to have an idea of it. And it's like when a, a server comes to your table and you want food, you got to be a little specific about what food you want. Otherwise, you're just going to get a plate of food. You may not even like it. <laughs> so think about that, right? I speak my existence into being right? This is who I am becoming. This is who I choose to be with wisdom and clarity, right? And having that wisdom of, yes, this is what I desire. This is why. And the clarity, getting really clear on things, because if we're not so clear, it's like um, someone can't really give you something if you can't be clear about what you really want. You're kind of going to get things that are like, oh, that's not really what I wanted though, but thank you, right? Kind of analogy, whatever. All right. And it says the message for today, it's time for direct communication. And with so many things, you know, relationships in any type of job environment, in any type of friendship, direct, clear communication makes all the difference, right? And straightforward interpretations in your situation. It's not about beating around the bush or trying to, um, Oh, I don't want to say that because it's going to hurt their feelings. Now you can say things in a way <laughs> that is nice and caring. And that's what you would focus on, right? Be um, honest, like be honest. People just really want honesty, right? But above all, bring your clear-headed, unbiased reasoning to the table. Boast, bolster your finely tuned BS detector by letting go of how you feel about a situation and objectively consider the facts. And here's another thing too, when we bring our trauma, when we bring our perceptions of a situation in like a discussion or argument with someone, we sometimes don't even hear what they're really trying to say. We just, to us, we just will state facts as we ourselves know them, as our perception was about it or is about it, our um, beliefs about it, right? Someone who's very Christian, someone who's not, doesn't believe in any, um, anything spiritual, right? They're going to have very different perceptions about life, yet they're both living on this earth, in this world, maybe even on the same block, but they're going to see life very differently, right? So we all have these perceptions. So when you are in something, it's like, okay, how can I be objective and not see something as bad or good? Like it's just a situation, right? Like people, right? Vegans, they don't eat meat. People on carnivore diets eat meat, but are both, neither of them are bad or vicious people. It's just they don't agree. So to, it's not bad. In my belief, it's not bad or good. Like there's no, it's doing what's best for the person and the person decides what's best for them in that way. Right? You know what I mean? But being that objective. So really notice how in your life you may be judging or you may be seeing some things from a certain perspective where other, and it's, and it's frustrating because you're like, why don't they think like me? Why do they think that way? Why are they doing? And it's like, you got to sit back and go because they believe that's right. Because most people are good. And most people are truly believing that way they believe is the best thing, right? Is the best thing. And we know this comes up big in politics and of course in religion too. And I just like food now, I don't ever say one thing is the best over another. And I don't say you're really wrong because they in their eyes are probably thinking I'm right you're wrong and you're the crazy one right so we just got to have this objective perspective okay well that's what they truly believe right and that's okay but I also get to choose what I really believe and it's okay and we can coexist right all right let's go on to our reading and again today I'm going to read from Untethered Soul by Michael Singer the Untethered Soul. It's an old, I mean, I don't know how old it is, but it's not that old, but I mean, it's not 25 years old. <laughs> this is quite a heavy concept. Who are you that is lost 
and trying to build a concept of yourself in order to be found. I love that sentence, right? Who are you that is lost and trying to build a concept of yourself in order to be found? I mean, seriously, I've, this is my whole life. <laughs> Who am I? What am I here? What's my purpose? And I've truly want, thought about that since I was little. I truly, truly have. It's always been my thing. So it's almost like not knowing who I am, like thinking that someone's going to tell me I'm going to find out one day. I don't know. I need to search for it. I need to find it. The answer is out there. Why can't I see it? Right. But I mean, over time and over years and years and in the spiritual journey and all this, we really do find that, you know, the answer is within us. And I believe, so again, we all believe something different in most cases. My belief is that there's a one consciousness. We are all part of it. We are all little fragments of it. And I'm also living multiple and, and parallel lives, like, boom, boom, you know, so many and so many. I'm just a split of my soul. I'm just a little bit of my soul. And my soul is also living many, 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 many lives. That's what I choose to believe right now. Um, and that in each moment, we can choose to go off in another direction, another parallel life, or choose to stay on this one. So in each moment, every decision I'm making, every thought I'm thinking is putting me on a path, right? A path, a reality. And then I live out more on that path. Then until I change it again, I change it again, I change it again. <laughs> it's quite a concept. Anyways, you will never find yourself in what you have built to define yourself. This is big. So we are so much more than our labels, than how we define ourselves to be, right? Um, I'm a vegan. I'm a bitch. Uh, I'm a person who gives so much and no one gives back to me. Um, you know, all of these things that we keep defining ourselves, we keep wanting to say who we are and what we are about, which to me, I think is okay. I'm not saying it's not because we naturally do that. We naturally do that, right? We are human and we are constantly searching for who we are really are because we were born and we had forgot that we came from this one source consciousness, right? So then we are, I believe our whole life is to come back to knowing truly who we are at the energy, energetic level, that we are all these soul beings that are energetic beings, right? Um, but it's really interesting because each person, of course, that's why everybody's so different because each person defines themselves as something different, as someone different from other people. So there's so much of this, I'm this way, you're this way, you're that way, we're all so different. But yet at the very true base, we are all energetic beings that we are all from, I believe from one consciousness, right? So we're all more the same than we think. We've just built layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of, we define ourselves more every minute, every day with everything that happens to us, with every person that says something to us, with the culture we live in, with the country we live in, um, how we were raised, all of those things, right? So it's just layer upon layer. And that's how sometimes we can feel like I don't even know who I am anymore because I've taken on the role as a mother for so many years or I've taken on the role as a caregiver or I've taken on the role of wife and, and I just let my husband make all the decisions and I don't even know what I really want or like anymore, right? You are the one who is lost, scared and confused because you're focused, your awareness away from your awareness of self, who you truly are, that spiritual being. In this panic, in, <clears throat> in this lost state, you learn to cling and hold on to the thoughts and emotions that were passing before you. You use them to build a personality, a persona, a self-concept that would allow you to define yourself. Because I guess as humans, we always want to define ourselves. We always want to put a label on ourselves. We always want to, you know, it's kind of like, who are you? Well, I'm going to tell you who I am. This is who I am. <laughs> right? It's just human nature. I'm not saying get away from it. It's just, it's just interesting when we really think about it, right? We think, oh, I've defined myself like this for so many years. Um, now for me, it's been a rebel, but I've really changed. I've really changed who I am in the last few years, drastically, drastically, uh, which may not be obvious on the outside, but on the inside, I feel like a whole new different person. I really do. And sometimes I look back at my past and I'm like, I can't, imagine that person. The thing is, here's a real heavy concept, guys. We're going to go there. When I make a big change in my life, so I mean, you know, we take these little changes and little parallel realities and choose a different off this little path. But when you make quite a big path, 
quite a big change. It kind of changes you in such that you're not the same person anymore. You're not. And so sometimes, so your old reality is further away from you, right? So usually it's so close. We can remember it so clearly. When you make big changes, your older reality is further away from you. And sometimes you can't remember it. And it, the actual real thing about um, parallel reality theory it's not called that, it's called something else. This is studied. Um, is that your past changes because you become a different person who's actually had a different past. That's so hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> because now you're this other aspect of yourself that has lived your life already. Your past was different because your present and future is so different than when you were five. Really hard to explain. <laughs> but anyways... We can change quite drastically and you might know people that have, and they may even go back and say, I don't, that doesn't even seem like me like that. I can't believe that was me. And sometimes they may not even be able to remember some past things. I completely cannot remember a lot of my past. Um, some people know that about me and it is very strange. I've had this always as far as long as I can remember that there's so many things I can't remember and there could be. I don't really know the real reason, but it's, you know, even some of the things I look back and I go, I was just such a different person back then. I feel like I'm so different now. I feel it. I notice it, even though someone else may not be able to. So anyways, it's just an interesting concept, but just really take some deep thinking and go, wow, I create myself. And by each decision and change of belief, change of par paradigm, it brings me on a new path. And that can be really good, right? But it's being conscious. It's like talking to the server, right? It comes to your table. This is what I'm choosing. Because if you don't make choices consciously, things that are just happening around you in this environment, you'll get caught up in it. And choices will be made for you. And you'll end up in a completely different trajectory or path of life. Pretty heavy concept. All right. <laughs> It's been longer. Let me know if you believe like this. Let me know if this is the first time you've heard it. What are your theories? And hey, everybody's right, right? Because you're right to yourself. I mean, it's just, let's all be inclusive and say, hey, that is so interesting, right? Look more objectively instead of um, judging. Okay. So let's take some deep breaths, inhale deeply through your nose, filling up your body with this beautiful energy, exhale, release, relax, let go, let go of the stress, the fear, the worry, your old self, whatever aspects you're like, you know what, I'm not going to be that anymore. Let it go. Inhale, grounding, loving earth's energy, filling up your whole body, lengthening through your spine, right, lengthen, and then exhale, relax, relax, bring that fear, doubt, worry, let go, let go, clear, 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 down into the center of the earth, and bring the grounding, loving, stable earth's energy up into your body, filling yourself up, up above your head, white, beautiful light coming down as you exhale, rejuvenating, replenishing, healing every cell in your body, fill your body light up with this beautiful white light, and then inhale one more time up above and then bring that beautiful white light down into your whole body, sparkling, rejuvenating, replenishing, healing, bringing it right down into the center of the earth, grounding that energy. Then inhale the earth's energy up into your heart center, opening up, widening through the heart, allowing that beautiful loving energy into your heart, opening your heart. And then exhale from your heart, your beautiful love and light out into the world far, far away, expanding your beautiful energy and inhale love and light into your heart center. And then as you exhale, ground it down throughout your whole body into the earth center and on your heart. I love, I love, I am love. I love myself. I love others. I am so grateful for everything I have. I'm so grateful for my love, for my family. I'm so grateful for my friends. I'm so grateful for my home. I am so grateful for my animals. I am so grateful for everything. Thank you. I'm always supported. I am always guided. Help me to be understanding. Help me to come from a place of love. Help me to see that other people are beautiful, wonderful souls and that we are all one. All right. Have an absolutely amazing day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you think of this video if you want to hear more like this. And I have a fabulous day. Bye.